They've been in this together from the beginning of the SNC-Lavalin controversy. First out of cabinet, then out of caucus. Side by side until at least this fall. And in this election, I will be running as, as an, an independent, independent candidate. They aren't just done with the Liberal Party, they are done with all parties, resisting weeks of courtship to stay independent. The overwhelming message I received was clear. Clear how we need to do politics differently. There is no longer a political party telling me what to say. There's no longer a political staffer telling me how to vote. There are no longer corporate lobbyists that are influencing the direction that I would go. The only people that are the boss of me right now are you. Elizabeth May didn't want to be their boss, but she did want them to join a Green caucus that doubled after Paul Manley's by-election win. She even opened the door to giving up her job. I said to Jody in our first conversation, you know, are you interested in being leader of the Green Party? I think that'd be a great idea. She said no. You were serious? Yes. You to, you yes. Given up the leadership? Yes. And yes. Okay with that? Why not? Why? I want the best possible government for Canada. I want the most Greens elected as possible. I see my friend and colleague, Elizabeth May, and the Green Party of Canada as natural and necessary allies. They praised the Greens but didn't join them, even though discussions continued until Friday. And unless I could feel like I was 100% authentically green, I thought the most honest thing to do was to say, you know what, I, I'm not sure exactly where I belong. Believe me, I considered it um, very seriously. Um, for me, uh, personally, I know who I am and I'm not a party person. Not a party person, but now a person without a party, without the resources a party brings with an election less than five months away. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. Wilson Raybould and Phil Pot will be running against their former party. The federal liberals say they'll soon be nominating new candidates in those ridings. And history certainly suggests the odds are stacked against independents. 74 MPs have tried to be re-elected as independents after leaving their parties. Only 24 of them. So about one-third were actually successful.